goddess Isis. Bringing you creativity is a vital link to ascension. Beloved ones, I spread my wings around you. I envelop you with my love and healing, and I empower with that strength and courage that is already within you to give you the opportunity to fly high, to soar high into those skies, those very blue skies, to find that which you are looking for within, to find that which you need at this time. You will be able to overcome those obstacles that you see as being hurdles that are quite insurmountable. I, however, see them as very small, and most definitely you will surmount them in a very short time indeed. There are many of us here today wishing you all well in this race of yours. We want to tell you all that you are all winners and you will all win in the end. You are fighting the great fight. You are attempting that which many of us have not chosen at this time as the very brave souls that you are. And we bless you and thank you for taking on this slightly harder pathway and we want to assure you that we are walking side by side with you and we are carrying you all through with the different situations and being with you in most joyful of times. Try to whisper we do in your ear beautiful thoughts and to charm you to make your day a much brighter day and allow you to receive that which you deserve for you all deserve wonderful things you are all given wondrous things you all have so many wonderful gifts yet so many of you do not use all your gifts but we want you all to know that this is an important time on the earth plane for you to show the world and mankind and especially most of all yourselves what you can produce what you can produce what you can can cre create and co-create with others to make not only your lives but the lives of many others far brighter far more enjoyable for when you paint a beautiful picture not only does it satisfy yourself but it satisfies satisfies others too just take a look outside in your garden in the fields the beautiful colors the beautiful flowers that in itself is enough to lift your spirits but if you yourselves can create beautiful pictures from your own imagination, then that also is something that can lift your souls and souls of others. Sometimes you are given pictures of places or images that you yourselves have not seen before or thought of before. Beloved ones, they can be channeled to you from spirits or beings of light, or even angels in other realms. The more you let go and allow spirit to work through you, the more beautiful and vibrant the colors become. If you wish to write a song, if you wish to write a story, if you wish to play music, if you wish to cook the most delicious meal for someone, this is all part of being creative. The timing is right for you to expand and soar high and to use more talents that you've ever 
used before. Also, we want you to use your spirituality and your spiritual gifts, and we do wish you to allow them to unfold, which they are and which we are very pleased about. But some of you do not seem to realise that you have greater gifts than you think you have. Some of you have got the gift of psychic art, and some of you have got the gift of clairvoyance or clairaudience, and you have no idea or believe that you are not in the league of others who have these wonderful gifts. But we can assure you that you have, and maybe you have possessed these gifts in other lifetimes. So we ask you in the coming months to think about this. Think about all the gifts that other people have around you and all the gifts that you yourselves know you have and the gifts that are well hidden. Maybe you can share the gifts that you have. Maybe you have gifts that you know one has. All you have to do is let go more and more and allow the angelic beings to work through you so that you can come up with real masterpieces, not just for yourselves but for others. For we are drawing closer and closer to the earth plane right now and we are becoming more and more part of you than we were before, wanting to use you as divine instruments to portray to you that which we can see with our vision. Why should you not partake in seeing the beauty that we see? We hold this within our souls. You also hold this within your souls. It's a question of allowing your creative essence to come from within and to be shared with the rest of the world. It is a very, very interesting subject learning to use your creative skills. For you have so many and there are so many that you know not about. So think about what you can do in the coming months and how you can allow the angelics to work with you and through you to allow this creativity to come to the fore. So many messages need to be given. So much information is needed to be transported to the earth and to be taken to so many people to hear. But unless you let go and allow spirit to speak through you, those words will never be said. Sometimes, however, when you are least expecting it, you come up with a certain word, phrases and sentences, when you are speaking to your friends and colleagues and you think to yourself, where did that come from? Sometimes you are inspired and guided to say things, even when you are not realising that you are doing so. And that is the same with many artists. Sometimes they are creating, but they are actually co-creating. We are working through them without even being aware of this. Abandon yourself in that divinity, peace and lovingness, and just let yourself, let yourself be guided by the angels and your guides and be used by your guides, by their love. So now, beloved ones, is the time for you to discover your hidden talents, your creative skills, for you are coming into the sphere of a beautiful orange light which is encircling your earth plane. And this is the colour of creativity. Orange, this colour, is being shone upon your earth plane at this time. So those of you who are aware of your creative abilities 
we ask you now to reach out and feel that orange light coming your way and use it to your advantage. September, October, November through to December time also. This is a very important period. There are four months of this year are going to be very important months for many of you to create. Not just in a way of creating and using your talents, but also being creative with children. Even those that are being born to the world now. Those children that are being born to the world are being created by you and are entering into a very special stage. Even those that are creating children at this time, conceiving, it is a very important time. So be aware of this creative time. Be aware that by letting go and asking for God-given force to walk through, work through you, you will discover your hidden gifts. Ask in whichever way you wish it to, or you'd like it to, for your highest good, and the highest good of all. And you will find that wonderful, amazing things will come to pass. Fantastic children will be conceived at this time. Incredible abilities they will have. Those that are being born at this time and those that are being conceived at this time, they are already being cherished by spirit, being adorned with such beauty and colors. They are coming to you on angels' wings. They are coming to you with such presence, such nobility, such grace, and they will do you justice. For the new generation of children that are being born to this world right now really will help to co-create a new world of peace, harmony, upliftment, renewal and a lot of excitement. They are going to be fast moving, fast moving more than those that we already see playing are playing around on the earth right now. Yes, they will be even higher vibration. Angelic ones will be among them. And they will be coming to the earth to save the earth and mankind. There will be some great healers among them and wonderful magicians. They will be using their magic in such wonderful ways, incredible ways. They will surprise so many of you who didn't even know this was possible. They will achieve great things as you will too, but you will help them along. You are all part of this wonderful new flow of creative energy. So push these children, do not hinder them, push them gently and allow them to reach out for those goals that most certainly are going to reach out for, no matter what you do. So we will leave these words with you. We will shine this beautiful orange light upon you all. Beloved ones, I hope this helps to understand that creativity is and will be the vital link to ascension. I am Isis. I bring these messages with love and reminding you that I am always at your service. Namaste and thank you from Rosalie for being here and listening today. Namaste.